Are you just ready or are you ready, ready? Oh, I'm ready, ready. The day hasn't started yet because I have had no wine. You're going to have lots of wine today. You know what they say in English, it never rains, but it pours. We don't get rain, but when it rains, it's <laughs> too much. I have great capacity to withstand pleasure. All right, then today it will be a great pleasure. I can't wait. So we are going to taste the 14 wines. Okay. 14 budget Four, wines. 14 budget wines. Yeah. <laughs> and today's video is particularly for American people. Oh, okay. Why? Americans always into budget wine? <laughs> no, there is not. There is no relationship between budget wines and American people. Oh, okay. Just checking. But we live in the United States, so I think we should do this at least one time this kind of tasting. Sure. I, I don't know what it is other than now I've got 14 wines aimed at an American audience and so if you say so, okay. So let's start. All right. So we'll have five white wines, two rosé wines and seven red wines. Okay. So I serve you enough because I uh, love to serve you enough when I serve you cheap, cheap wine. wine. Exactly. <laughs> if this were my 2014 Fosham Mortom Great Chablis, you know. <laughs> I'll be looking for it. Oh, I think it's white, but I can't really see. <laughs> but um, it's very nice that you're generous with the cheap wines. <laughs> this is general content, right? Yeah, this is general content. But if you are really interested in learning about wine, please join our membership. Because our wine class membership, it's super premium wine class. Am I right, Peter? Absolutely. Yeah! Yeah! Wine's very different from yours, I think. How is it possible? Pass me your glass, let me make sure it's the same wine. Yeah, it looks the same wine from here. It's the same cheap smell. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to hear. Yeah, nothing went wrong there. They made wine to a price point and they didn't cheat us by giving us more than we paid for. <laughs> It's a fair world. It's a fair thing. If they give us more than we paid for, that's crookery. All right. <laughs> cheers, Jay. Right, cheers. So how much do you know about this tasting? You know the order and everything? No. Okay. So all you know is what you bought. Yeah. But you don't know in what order they are presented. No, I have no okay. idea. And this is my first time to taste these wines. Okay. How were the wines? This was hard work. There was nothing wrong with any of these wines. There was mm. also nothing right. I mean, if you need something wet with a bit of alcohol, no problem. But there was nothing here to get excited about drinking. What do you think? I totally agree with you. They were all bland. Absolutely. I mean, it's my, my common tasting note throughout <laughs> is twice on each wine, twice bland. Once on the nose and once on the palate. Yeah, yeah, bland with some bitterness. I got to understand why the winemakers, they make cheap wines sweet. Yeah, exactly. It's well known in wine circles. Uh, uh, sugar covers a multitude of faults. That was this rosé. Probably one of the better ones. <laughs> yeah, for me too. <laughs> <laughs> this one is the when best. When you for say me. that that's one of the better ones, you know you're in trouble. <laughs> that's true. That's exactly <laughs> what I thought. This was a really easy session. We tasted seven wines. That one was the best. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, by the way, give us a like. <laughs> and subscribe. <laughs> Next time, we give you more information. <laughs> oh, we haven't finished the red wines. Oh, that's true, we haven't. Okay. I thought that one was white zin. What is the representative characteristics of a white zin? If somebody wanted to make serious white zin, it would be different. But pink, sweet. Strawberries, tropical fruit. Candied strawberries. Yeah, yeah. This really is the wine that should be used as a transition from colas to wine. Mm -hmm. So what were the better wines for you here? Wine number five was my top score. Because wine number five had more structure, more grip, it had more concentration. Wine number five wasn't bad for me either. Yeah. What was your second best score? Second best score. I think I had a lot of second best scores. Number one, two and three. <laughs> Among these, my least worst wines, wine number one, four and five. Were your best? Yeah. So we so agree with... Wine one and five, we agree. Yeah. And this white Zin, is this one of the better wines? Let's put it this way. I mm -hmm. think it's white Zin. I think it's typical. Uh -huh. I think that people who buy something like this at under $5, 
know what they're looking for, and this did not disappoint. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> if you really want to drink some of these wines, probably wine number one, five, and seven. Yes, I think so. Okay, that was good for white wine and rosé. But tell me what they are. <laughs> what are they? I will tell you when we finish oh. the red wine tasting. Okay. I cannot reveal it because you are you so smart. It, otherwise, you'll have to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I get it. So I just leave the wines as they are here. I <laughs> wouldn't cheat, Peter. I know you wouldn't cheat. That's what this is about. This is about not cheating. It's like walking the tightrope without a safety net. Because you don't know the order these wines are in and I don't know what the wines are. <laughs> At this price point it doesn't matter. <laughs> At this price point it just, all it has to do is taste like wine and not kill you. Because these are really cheap. We are decent at blind tasting, but we are very good at quality. This, <laughs> this is true. not the great quality. <laughs> and I'm really curious about what they are one by one. Okay. I'm really. I know that you're a devious kind of guy. <laughs> no, so there's no doubt in my mind that there's something diabolical in all of this. It's not true, Peter. We do this for our American viewers because finally we begin to have more and more American viewers. It's meaningful for us because we are in the United States. And you know what? These days, many of our subscribers, they're French. Really? Yeah. Well, they don't know shit about wine. Everybody knows that. <laughs> I didn't say it. My beloved subscribers. <laughs> I had a French friend, like a brother to me, and we would taste and we would taste blind. With me, with all my training, and him just growing up in Paris. And he would say to me, Peter, this is Bordeaux. And I've like been writing notes and notes and notes, and I've decided it's Bordeaux. He tasted the wine and said, this is Bordeaux. I said, tell me, how do you know? Look at me like I'm stupid. What, what do you mean? How do you know it's Bordeaux? Does it taste like Cabernet, Merlot, lots of oak? Bready, warm bread aromas. Oh, no. How do you know it's Bordeaux? Because it tastes like Bordeaux. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he never knew anything about wine. Uh -huh. He just knew it tastes like Bordeaux. Yeah, yeah. Because they drank wine every day. Yeah, that's true. Oh. Bordeaux people, they almost always drink only Bordeaux wine. No, that's true. I went to a cellar. We had a beautiful tasting of Burgundies. And then I said to the guy, can I taste you on a wine? So I went out to the car, I got a bottle of great South African wine that I had in my car and I poured it for him and he said to me, what is that? I said, it's South African wine, it's a Bordeaux blend. So he said, well, it's not as good as Burgundy. So I said, okay, do you like it? No, it's, it's okay. He kind of said, it's an acceptable attempt from a new world wine country. Uh -huh. South Africa has been making wine since the 1600s. It's an acceptable effort for a new world wine country. I mm -hmm. said, okay, finish the tasting, and I'm saying goodbye and everything. I put the cork in the wine, and I'm leaving my wine. Oh, oh, oh. You leave that. It's for my lunch. <laughs> 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 All right, reds. Okay, red. Okay. Seven red wines. I wish it was going to be as good as it sounds. I'm going to serve you enough. <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> Interesting color! <laughs> I, I got surprised! Normally you shouldn't show this kind of color. Normally sure. you're right. Interesting. Probably I brought a bottle of a super premium Sangiovese. <laughs> All I know is this. Later on, I'm going to have to have a bottle of super premium Sangiovese just to recover from this. Alright. <laughs> oh, that's not bad. It's not bad? On the nose, it's not bad. Number four. Four must be expensive because you gave me so little. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want some more? <laughs> it can be my next trick. Oh yeah? I serve you just a little bit of very cheap wine. <laughs> then just by pouring, Peter would imagine that, oh, this must be an expensive wine. <laughs> I will know immediately if it's any good or not. <laughs> we drink too much good wine not to know. <laughs> That's true. Hi Valerie! Hi, look at you! So we are having much fun! We are drinking cheap wine. But the, reds, the reds are actually much better than the whites. For me too. Yeah. I got surprised. The, yeah, the reds are much better than the whites were diabolical. Uh -huh. The reds, yeah, not that bad. But yeah. please put really good red wine just for a 
couple of minutes in the fridge because we've worked very hard. <laughs> That's true, we, work, we are still working very hard. I, mean, I haven't finished yet, but they are much better than the whites. Yeah, I really agree with you, yeah. Probably they didn't have enough money to screw it. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 these guys, they didn't have enough money to buy good grapes. <laughs> right. What do you think about the wines? Again, it's too cheap. Mm -hmm. However, they were much better than the whites. Yeah. There was even one wine with minerality. So, simple question. I know your devious mind. The question is simple, I'm sure the answer isn't. <laughs> because you make everything complicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's not my fault. <laughs> what are the better wines? Okay. That actually is a simple question. Uh, yeah. The best wine. Numero trois. Eight, nine, nine ten. ten. No, correct. What, wine number ten? Yeah. And the second best one? The last one. The last one, wine number 14. Wine number 14. How about you? 14 was the best for me. Oh, the last one? Mm -hmm. My second best. It was very nice. Yeah. And I liked 10 too. You also liked 10? Yeah. It's even got some minerality. I didn't like the sweetness on the character, but ultimately the best wine of this flight and actually the best wine of the tasting. Ah, I see. Number 10 was, it felt me like a very initial stage of recipe wine making. Of course, it's all recipe. At this price point, I'm guessing at the price point, mm -hmm. this price point, it's all recipe. But I like 10 because it was a very initial stage of the recipe wine making. So the four oak flavor was very muted. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. In other words, they tried to screw it up because the bosses wanted them to screw it up and they persevered and didn't quite. <laughs> because there's a winemaker there with a little bit of integrity who basically defied his bosses. He probably got fired, which means you should follow him because he's good. And I really like number 14. Yes, I really, that was my second best one of the flight uh -huh. and second best one of the tasting. Here is one more interesting question. But not simple, eh? <laughs> not, <laughs> not easy, like, okay, yes, all right. So what were the worst wines for you? Okay, number 13 was absolutely my worst wine. Yeah, for me too. Yeah. That was the worst of the worst. Yeah, that was the most cynical, manipulated, diabolical, pandering, horrible, terrible wine. And yet I scored it 14 because it's drinkable. Mm -hmm. And there are people that like that sort of thing. But they should not, <laughs> is the point. All right. I don't want to tell you what to like, but psst. Do you want me to talk about this one now? Yes, please. You got an hour? This is an insult to the consumer. The people who make this wine believe you are not ready to drink good wine. You are too unsophisticated and therefore you should drink this. I'm shifting now from soda pop to wine, I want it sweet, I don't want too much complexity, I don't want tannin, I don't want acid, I'm, I in fact want to drink wine without actually drinking wine. It's an insult to you. You're moving to wine, start to taste wine, start to develop a taste for wine. Stay with us or anybody else who knows good wine. Let us lead you into the fantastic world of great wine and you don't have to pay great money. You have to pay more than this, but a couple of bucks. Not 20, 30 bucks. If you want an absolute role model for taking you to another place in the wine world, buy this wine because it's exactly what you should not be drinking. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jack. Great speech. <laughs> it's been some time I've heard <laughs> this kind of uh, energetic speech <laughs> from Peter. <laughs> I get exercised by this because the world is a wash with beautiful wine uh -huh. made by talented people who are not cynical like this, who do not presuppose that you're a frigging idiot. <laughs> Our politicians keep saying, we're Americans, we're better than this. We are better than this. <laughs> right. This is the best education material. This is that... wonderful education material. Yeah. This is something to get your teeth into as to not do it again. <laughs> right. So do you want to see what they are? Sure. And do you have any idea what they are? All under six dollars. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to be right. Number one. It's one of the better wines. Charles Shaw. Tubac Chuck Sauvignon Blanc 2020. California. Yeah. 
Mark, how much is it? 199. Okay, there we go. And then number five oh. was one of our better wines. Charles Shaw Chardonnay. 2019 California. And this is made with organic grapes. And the price? 399. There are two different price categories for Tubak Chat. They are called the Tubak Chat because the price is two dollars, right? Yeah, that yeah. was originally the case. And uh, Tubak Chat is from Trader Joe's, which is a very famous supermarket chain in the United States. It is too. The original price range is one ninety nine. Okay. And this is upgraded Tubak Chat, three ninety nine. Okay, so, so those are the two price points. Yeah. One ninety nine, three ninety nine. Yeah. Okay. Number seven, White Zinfandel. Okay. Sure, sure again. 199, right? 199 White Zinfandel. 2019 California. Okay. Okay, then two recommended red wines. 8, 9, 10. All right. So the bottle is longer, so this must be 399 one. The 10. So I'll show again. Uh, so that's obviously the. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I think I'm starting to figure out the code here. Charles Cho, California Red Wine Blend, 2017. So you think you know the code here, right? Yeah, I think I know the code. <laughs> so I bought all the Charles Cho wines from Trader Joe's to taste them today. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, who's gonna do it? Somebody needed to step up and do it. We sacrifice our liver. That's for exactly you. right. Okay, so do you want to see the last one? I do. Number fourteen. Okay, the bottle is uh, shorter. Okay. So it must be one ninety nine one. Okay. Charles, no. Charles Show Merlot 2017 California. Then the worst of the worst of all of them. Charles Show Red Blend. 2016. Well, uh -huh. it's 2016. It means they haven't managed to sell it. It means true. it's never been good. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting tasting. We have to do tastings like this, not only for you guys, but for ourselves. It's so easy for us. I mean, we do this wine all the time and people send us samples. And of course, we buy a lot of wine. We drink well and we need to settle down there from time to time and say, what do you get for entry level money? And it helps us to find the one or two things that if you want to spend that kind of money that are worth spending that kind of money on. This tasting has been one of the most important requests from our American viewers. Really? I also have always wanted to do this tasting with uh, all Charles Show wines. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you do it with someone else? <laughs> Just kidding. Very happy to have done this tasting. Are you okay, Peter? Please subscribe for Peter's liver <laughs> and leave <liver> loves. <laughs> I always plan this for your liver, Peter. <laughs> Otherwise, you drink too no, much. No, that's exactly right. Jay's correct. If he's planning it for my liver, you need to give me a lot of shit wine because I won't drink it. <laughs> and therefore, the liver will survive intact. <laughs> You're right. Pure. <laughs> If you want to learn about wine seriously from Peter and me, please click on the join button right next to the subscription box. Then click on wine class join button. This is way better than any other wine school in the world. A new wine class video is uploaded once every week and we also do a wine class on live streaming once a month. If you don't like it, you can cancel it anytime.